if we could only get in the schools. I just talked in my, where I'm staying, talked to a biology teacher, and he, a creationist, and he said I had to teach evolution. I couldn't, because he had student complaints from, from parents, actually, because he taught evolution, and they were homeschooled, and there was a concern. He said, I have to teach evolution. That's the law. Otherwise, I lose my job. And I know it's wrong, but that's what I have to teach. And every chapter of the book, it talks about evolution. We sent our children to a private Christian Sunday Adventist school, and they had evolution in their textbooks. And uh, so I went to the principal and said, well, look, I need to come in and speak for chapel at least once a year uh, while my children are in school here. And he let you? Have that. And he did. And cool. yeah. Uh, so yeah, I go in and, and finish my, I finish my talk with, uh, if you believe that there's a God and you're created, please stand up. And got every single person stands up. Yeah, that's good. But they should. They're in a Christian school. And they yeah. Know but it's like the Catholic school that that girl came from. A nun not have to have faith. You don't have no faith, sister. Yeah. It takes a lot of faith to believe that when you really know. Yeah. But she could teach in Canada. She can teach creation. As they can in all the schools. Most schools. I, I, I think, as far as I know, the only school you can't is in the United States. It's the only place in the world that you can't teach both sides. As far as I know. Most backwards country in the world. And who, who controls that? The, go the governor? Or in Canada? The, who? No, she's talking about the states. Yeah. In Supreme the Court rulings. I have in my book, I have over 100 cases of creationists fired because they dare to mention the other side and every one of them lost at the court level. Now some won something in a settlement out of court. There's a, three of them that was, they basically settled, they gave them half a million and go home. Because they did not want a court case. So it's worth the college to have a half, spend a half a million so you don't have a court case. So the court said that you, you have to... Uh, teach evolution as fact. If it's part of the curriculum, you have to teach it as fact. Mm -hmm. What they say. That's because we, all the states have to teach the same thing, right? Because these states used to teach their own stuff. Like each state well, the, the Supreme Court, curriculum. et cetera, the courts rule that way. And therefore, although there's three states, there's Kentucky, Tennessee, and uh, Louisiana, which allows you to critique evolution. And if we could just get that. In Texas, I don't see that would be a problem. Just get on the ballot and let the people vote. Yeah. And get enough signatures, put on the ballot, and word it in such a way where you're not teaching creation, not teaching religion. You just have the freedom to critique, to evaluate evolution. My guess is it would pass, probably very overwhelmingly, but the evolutionists would be out there, oh, this is idiotic, and it'll bring Texas back in the Dark Ages, and we won't be able to compete intellectually, and evolution is the basis of all science, and you're going to basically create ignoramuses by doing that. They'll still come out and they'll have the head of major universities in Texas come out and make all these wild claims, which are ludicrous. But they get away with it because they, you know, but yet, when you watch the, like the National Geographic Channel, they're still they're saying Mother Nature or you know they have a name for it. They're just not giving God the credit, but they're saying there's a designer more often than not. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Because they know they have to. I mean, you have to be an idiot to not see it. That's true. But Mother Nature is a designer, whoever she is. Well, thank you. Oh, I have a quick question. Well, I'm going to pray for that. I'm going to pray for that. Yeah, it just takes people that are active. And that's, there's an article written by Gay basically talked about how they are able to change the whole country relative to people's perception of his behavior. And they six or seven steps. If we took the same steps, I'm sure we would change the It's really, it seems like a PR problem more than anything else. Oh, yeah, yeah it is. That's what it is. I'm so happy you put those videos on YouTube, because I showed a couple of friends about the videos from the last one with Darwinism, and it was just so good.